Hey, Ryan. Yes, I am available. I was just um, making sure it wasn't my connectivity. I hope all is well on your end as well. Let me know if you hear any lag or anything. Um, again, as Ryan stated, my name is Terrera Smith. Or T all right. Can you hear me? Is there a little lag in the record? In, in my... Um, a bit. A little bit connectivity. Can you hear me? I think there's a slight lag, but um, I hear you well. All righty. Um, again, thank you all for joining this evening. As Ron stated, my name is Terrera Smith. I am out of the great state of Michigan, um, right outside of Detroit, hence why I love to travel because we know that um, this weather is unpredictable, right? <laughs> One of the main reasons why I became a travel agent. Um, I am a wife. I'm a mom. I am a grandmother. Uh, I also work full time in the healthcare industry and leadership, guys. I have a master's in health administration, um, but I did still want to be able to travel more and, of course, earn some extra income without getting a second job. I believe two jobs are for two people. Okay. So uh, this opportunity was an awesome way for me to be able to travel more in addition to being able to afford to and pay back some of those school loans along the way that I accumulated with getting that master's degree. I've been booking travel since 2015 and I've been with Evolution Travel since day one. Um, what I want to do today, because I, I know a lot of people do ask about marketing and how they can promote their business. And um, that's one of the things that I wanted to share with you guys, just some um, a few you know tidbits of nuggets and information that I want to share with you to show you what's helped me to be an IATAN card holder um, every year since I started. And I'm just continuing to get repeat business. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, take myself off and I'm going to share my screen. Um, as Ron stated, you know, you may want to jot down a couple of things so that you can get, you know, some notes to be able to help you. All right. So again, today we're going to go over how to pr promote your travel business. One second, let me make sure I'm sharing the full screen with you all. All right, enough about me. We already have uh, went over that. I am, uh, again, gold consultant with the business and I attend accredited since day one. So let me move the toolbar out so that you can see everything. All right. So um, again, jumping right into it, guys, um, there's, you know, as I like to say, and it's one of the sayings I got from my grandmother, uh, you know, there's many ways to skin a cat. But one of the main things I want you guys to know is that we should be promoting fun, right? We sell recess, which a lot of people, especially in this day and time, want to be able to relax. So some of the things that you could brand or focus your business on are beaches, right? You can be a beach specialist, so you can focus on um, different beaches here in the U.S. or abroad, um, cruises, of course, are also fun. And the great thing about cruises is there's so many different varieties. You know, you have your fun ships like your carnival. Um, you have some that are a little bit more, you know, dedicated to mature crowds for princes again, but still having um, great destinations, um, Royal Caribbean families. So there's a lot of things that you can look into when it comes to cruises. Skiing, um, I recently had someone ask me for a quote to Aspen. Don't sleep on it. Now, just because I don't like the cold necessarily, um, I, I still am a person who takes the time to educate myself about my business so that I can sell whatever recess is to someone else. So they like skiing. I you know, went ahead and looked up everything I could find about Aspen and everything um, to be able to make that trip pleasurable for them. There are many, many festivals around the world that you could promote to be able to sell your business. If you look, um, I personally um, am a Caribbean specialist, so there's a lot of festivals that I look 
for to be able to promote that are in those warm climates in the Caribbean, such as Antigua, such as Trinidad and Tobago, Jamaica. Um, but there are other plenty festivals and wine tasting and, you know, different things around the world that you can look to promote. Sporting events, of course, if you follow me or you know me, you know that I love um, football and basketball. So just right here in Detroit, Michigan, guys, we have the NFL draft. And I kept telling people this is going to be very, very big. And for those who took advantage of being able to book rooms downtown Detroit for $300, that was a steal, <laughs> right? Because those hotel rooms easily went from $600 to $900 a night. Um, so sporting events, if you're someone that is into sports, you might want to look at those big, you know, major events like the draft or um, like Super Bowl or in, even college, right? NCAA, there's always an opportunity for sporting events. And, you know, if you want to make that your niche, there are suppliers that you can sign up for that and be able to promote sporting events. And um, lastly, concerts. We know that people love, you know, certain stars, you know, it could be Beyonce to Taylor Swift, right? They travel around the world. So someone may very well want to go see a concert, one of the big headliners somewhere else outside of the U.S. Or it may be one of those great residency shows that they've been having in Las Vegas lately, like, you know, Usher went on for a long time. Um, you have Celine Dion. You have a lot of people who do concerts and residencies in Las Vegas. So, you know, keep that on your mind. And again, those are things that you can promote for fun that um, will help you build your clientele. So next, while we're talking about that, I just want to remind everyone, you have to qualify your clients when you are booking your trips, okay? This will help you not only to save you time and a headache, but it also helps you to be able to give your clients a great experience. And again, they keep you in mind when you get all of those um, you know, tidbits and special things that you're able to help them with to accommodate their trips. So to qualify your clients, of course, you want to know when um, they're going, where, why, and who is going, right? It, it, it matters if it's a um, husband and wife or a girlfriend's trip or if it's a multi-generation trip. So the who is very important. That helps you to be able to know what you are quoting for your clients. You don't want to send them um, adult-only resorts or um, hotels that are romantic if it's a multi-generation trip and it's for a whole family. So that's very important. You also want to know their budget. And I know people struggle with this and you get clients to say, oh, I don't have a budget. Yes, they do. <laughs> so you can, you know, um, maybe give them a, a range, you know, on the low end, it may be this amount per person. And on the high end, it may be this amount per person. As you do your research, this is why they come to us. So you want to um, make sure that you can, you know, at least maybe give them a range. You might have to do some mock bookings, but those are some of the things that I did that helped me learn. Accommodations are very important. Um, again, you want to know, is this something where, you know, things vary. Do we need two beds? Do we need one bed? Uh, do we want garden view? Do we want ocean view? Do we want a high floor? Do we want to be on the ground level, right? Those are things you want to ask. And these are things that you can request from the hotels or the resorts that you're booking your clients. You can put that right in the remarks, um, depending on if you're a specialist with certain brands, you can actually email them or maybe even the BDM. But there's platforms set up for that. And again, right in your bookings with your suppliers, there's always a space for remarks. So make sure you ask about accommodations. In addition to when I speak of accommodations, if someone has special um, a need accommodations because they're in a wheelchair, because they're on a walker, um, because they're light sensitive, any of, any of those things, you want to make sure that you find out as you're booking their trip. Um, autistic children, any of those things, those are all incorporated in accommodations. Um, airport transfers and car rentals, please, please, please don't let your client get to the location and have to take an Uber or figure it out or taxi um, when you can clearly set those things up in advance. I like everything to be seamless for my clients. Um, very funny story. 
I booked um, a, a Jamaica group that's going out of town in a couple of months. And because we booked so far in advance, it was too early to book the airfare. Don't shy away from those, right? You want to retain those clients. So we booked, um, I set them up on payment arrangements to pay for the accommodations. Once the air schedules opened, um, we we're able to add flights. Now, saying all of that to say the hotel accommodations already included the round trip airport transfers to and from the um, resort. So regardless if they decided to add their air with me or not, they had transportation. And I explicitly told them that from the beginning because I built them a website and I included everything that's included, which incorporated the round trip transfers. Um, so I had to kind of follow up with a few of them and say, hey, if you booked your air already, I still need the um, airfare details so that you can get picked up and dropped off. And they're like, oh, that's included already. We thought we had to get our own transportation. No, absolutely not. Um, you want to make sure that you're providing that for your clients. Again, just being able to um, provide the experience. Any activities, again, experience, you want to include those things. You, you know, if you know your client is going to, um, like, Again, a place like Las Vegas, you want to know why they're going. Maybe it is for a concert or a specific show. We have um, we have suppliers that we can actually sell those tickets to, sell those shows for. So you want to include all of those activities and experiences. You want to, you know, they're going to Jamaica, offer Club Mo Bay so that they can have expedited service. Um, you know, as they go through the airport, through immigrations and have some place to stay while they're waiting on their flight in the, you know, the VIP lounge for their returning trip. Um, these are all the things you want to include as you qualify your clients. And last but not least, of course, travel insurance. For me, it's not a matter of if you want, it's which kind of insurance that you want. And you can absolutely um, offer insurance through the suppliers. You can offer 10 leg insurance, um, which we have access through. There's um, a few other insurance suppliers. I would encourage you to do your due diligence and your research in the Travel Cafe. But um, again, all of the, well, majority, I won't say all, because I know of a couple that, that does not, but majority of the suppliers offer travel insurance and it's usually either for um, a, a future credit if you cancel for any reason or a cash refund minus the price of the travel insurance if you cancel for any reason in addition to um, other benefits like trip you know trip interruptions um, loss of baggage delayed baggage things of that nature so it's very important and I will say guys if your clients do not accept travel insurance for you at all make sure they sign off on it that's just a little bit of uh, information from me to you just to protect yourself. So speaking of qualifying your client, I gave you a brief overview of um, a few of those questions, but I wanted to let you know there is a checklist right in the Travel Cafe. So um, to access to the Travel Cafe, of course, go to your back office and then in the menu on the left, there is the menu that will get you right to the Travel Cafe. Right in the Travel Cafe under the Resources tab, there is what you see, the first thing listed here as a checklist, and it says qualify your clients in parentheses. That checklist will save you um, a lot of time. And again, we'll be able to assist you with being able to to get your client's needs. This is a brief overview of what it looks like. This is just the first page. It's a few pages, but um, where and why, again, as I stated, you want to know how many will be traveling when. This gives you an idea of a budget, which is pretty cool because it, it actually lists amounts for a low, moderate, or luxury budget. Um, it asks you to um, review everything that you need for your clients as far as additional information um, that you want to know. Specifics to me to actually matter. You know, people say, I want to go on a cruise. Well, is there a specified, is there a specific cruise line that you like or don't like? 
I like to ask that question too. The same with flights. Is there something uh, as far as an airline that you like or you prefer? Are you a Delta member? Do you have a Sky Miles number? If not, do you want to sign up for one? Which I also encourage a lot of time if I know that Delta or World Agent has a um, promotion going on, I'll send my clients the link to sign up for a Sky Miles number. Um, if they're already were working with another travel agent or a travel agency, and that's important too, because you want to know if they've already, you know, kind of priced the information so you'll know what you're working with. Um, you guys need to be the resource. So that means knowing the facts, knowing the facts about where your client is going is major. They may um, want to go to a particular area or climate where you want to know if it's the rainy season or if you want to know, um, you know, the weather, if it's going to be very hot or mild or cold. Um, you definitely want to know, um, you know, if it's a hurricane season somewhere. Um, you want to know the um, health requirements for that you can find through the CDC. If you're going somewhere that requires certain immunizations and such, that's very important. Um, documents, requirements, passports, visas. If there are certain rules for minors, these are all of the things that you want to make sure that you know. And just to make that easy for you, in case you were not aware, this is your site. You have a customizable website, just as I have a customizable travel website. This is my site. And as you see, um, we all have the same menu right at the very top and travel resources. That's right on your website. So you don't have to go to a lot of different places to find travel resources. And what you're going to see on that travel resources page is Ta-da! A lot of things that you'll need that I just spoke about. You'll be able to see flight information, um, CDC information for travelers health, um, TSA information. You know, everybody hasn't always necessarily traveled before. You want to make sure that they know what's prohibited if they, if they, you know, need to know what they can or cannot take in a carry-on versus um, a check bag. You'll also see um, document requirements. You'll see the passport link right where it says get a renew, I always include that link when I am sending um, or setting up a page for my clients, especially for groups. Um, I do for individuals, but especially for groups because I make customizable um, web pages for them wherever they're traveling. If the passports are or visas are required, I have that link right there for them to be able to access it. And, you know, you will get that question. Do I have to have a passport right now to book it? No, I book trips one year, two years out. I don't want to, you know, have them wait to get the passport, especially if I have a promotion. You can book the trip right now. You don't have to have the passport, but I am telling you, that you will need it <laughs> before you depart. And these are the passport rules. They'll need to know that, you know, certain countries, you'll have to have a passport that's valid, valid at least six months prior to your um, arrival date. So, you know, that's important to know. Some people will say, oh, I already have my passport. My question is, when does it expire? Just because you're going in, um, you know, July, if your passport expires in August, that may not be acceptable in many other countries. It may need to be effective up until January, but these are the things that you'll find on the U.S. State Department site. Um, you'll also see, again, other information that you'll be able to use and share for your clients with trips, travel, um, tips for traveling abroad. So again, right on your own website, you'll find those. Um, free marketing material. Um, there are several places that you can go, including all of the suppliers' websites, um, supply free marketing material. Um, I would encourage you as well, as you are finding your niche, um, and, you know, what it is that you want to specialize in. If you're taking the trainings on these two sites that I highly recommend, you want to make sure that you're posting those certificates as you're taking those trainings. So travelagentacademy.com and travelagentuniversity.com, those are both free websites as travel agents that you can go in and take training and become certified. I'm a, I'm a destination wedding and honeymoon specialist. So that's one of the things that I advertise and that I love booking but you can become a um, specialist in any particular area of the world or, you know, whatever you want your niche to be. You may be 
easier as I found to, you know, maybe specialize on what it is that you like, or maybe some place that you aspire to like or aspire to go. You can take training. So just because you haven't, you know, if you haven't went to Naples, like I just booked a trip there, that doesn't mean you can't take a training for Italy and learn all about it and be able to book those trips. So um, it's, it's important, you know, to learn your craft, take some trainings and again, post those certificates, utilize the free customizable materials from your suppliers. I briefly, you know, just stated that all the suppliers have training materials that you can use. And lastly, utilize the travel cafe. You can find, uh, free training materials there. You can also find some that you can pay for. I won't leave that out. Um, I have in the past paid for, um, customizable videos and found that they've been very useful and inexpensive in my opinion. Um, uh, but there are also free videos and free customizable flyers that you can find in the travel cafe and you can use those to promote your business. Referrals. This is major. Um, and this is one of the ways that I promise you that I gain repeat business. I'm actually booking a trip right now um, for someone going on a trip with a group. She already reached out to me to book her husband's uh, milestone birthday for next year. She hasn't finished paying with the one that she's going on with the group that she's uh, traveling with in July. Um, but referrals are major. The, the way that I get referrals, of course, you know, people already have word of mouth. So you want to make sure that you are, um, you know, in communication with your clients and fit their needs. Um, but feedback and referrals on the vacations when they return. OK, I not only do I communicate with my clients before they leave for their vacations, wishing them well. I actually do communicate with them during their trip to make sure they have what they need. But when they return, if nothing else, guys, when they return from their trip, you should be thanking them for booking with you, letting them know if they have any feedback for you. And then I include my links for um, Facebook, my Facebook business page, and my um, my business can also be found on Google. So you can leave a review on Google for me. You can leave a uh a review on your Facebook business page. This is why it's important to Facebook or business page, um, not deterring away from, you know, the other customizable personable pages that you have, but your clients can't leave a review that's trackable on a personal page. If you have a business page and people are actually interested and they go on and they look at your business page, they can see your reviews from past clients. I have five stars. I invite you to go check out Star Traveling Entertainment. Um, you know, all you have to do is ask. And it also leaves you um, a great opportunity to find out maybe something about that resort or that hotel that you need to know for future clients. Do I want to book future clients here? Um, do I want to, you know, um, reach out and, and discuss some things that that I have concerns about with um, that hotel, but it definitely, feedback is important. You can also ask for pictures on your website. That's also on your personal website, your personalized website that I just shared with the travel resources. We have an opportunity to ask people if they want to include pictures. And I do have some from clients that have went on trips. So there's a photo gallery. If you scroll down on that homepage of your website, it's a photo gallery and clients can actually add their pictures there. You want to offer incentives for referrals. So um, if, you know, your clients or maybe your clients may have booked a while ago and you, you know, you aren't necessarily booking a lot right now, but you're looking to get some more business. You can send out a blast email, um, you know, however you want to communicate with your clients and offer incentives for referrals, letting them know, hey, you know, um, if, if you refer a client to me and they book by the end of the month, I'm able to give you a travel gift. Um, if you are um, someone that is included in the uh, certificates that we provide, or the other travel gifts that we provide for our clients. You can offer certificates for gifts. Um, and also exchange your business information and cards with others. I am definitely including my business card, especially this past weekend for the NFL draft at all the restaurants or anywhere else that I visited. But 
even including today, I, I was at the grocery market and someone gave me a flyer. Uh, he's a party promoter, apparently, for a party that's coming up in the summer. And I exchanged my business card right in return. So don't leave home without them. If you don't have business cards, make sure that you get them. That is a priority. Or even if you, you know, I also have a digital business card. You can download a digital business card for free as well and be able to have people scan and share that information. Um, so again, make sure that you're exchanging information. All right, with that being said, um, what I wanna do guys, I wanna share, as I spoke about, just a couple of places that I spoke about of getting free marketing information. So first, what I want to do, let me share my screen with uh, one of the popular suppliers that I know a lot of you all use is Vax. Um, so if you are using Vax, let me make sure you can see my screen in full. Um, I want to make sure that you know where you can find the free marketing material on Vax. So there's a couple of places, but first I want to show you Right at the top, you'll see the tabs for reservations, incentives, destinations, resources. Education is important. This is where you can find on-demand trainings and future live trainings that you can register with. Um, but right here under the resources tab, you can go down and you'll see travel resources and you'll also see travel inspo toolkit. Let's go to the toolkit. I find a lot of little funny memes and things uh, on this page too. So on the Travel Inspo Toolkit, you can download any of these things. Let me make sure you can see my screen. I'll maximize it a little bit. All right. Um, so right at the top where it says resources, that's basically the same thing with the tab. If you go to resources, it'll, it'll send you here too. So you'll see supplier shareables, social media posts, memes, and shareable content from the Compass, uh, which is their magazine. So all of these um, listed on this page are all, this is all shareable content. Like you can right click on it, you can save it and you can post it. They even show you um, how to share on Facebook, how to share on Instagram. They give you specifics. They even come down to giving you hashtags that you can use, okay? Hashtags you can use on Instagram, uh, TikTok, uh, Facebook, but you know, hashtags are pretty popular. So if you're not a super social media guru, this is a place to go. They give you all of the you know um, support that you'll need. These are also places, let's just say you already have taken um, training for Hawaii and you want to uh, promote, they even have hashtags, dreaming of travel, but there is some, some great photos here that you can, um, again, right click on, save, and you can share them as well. Lots of destinations, Aruba, Bahamas, Costa Rica. You can just write along with your certificate, or if you haven't took the certificate yet, you can still promote it as your training. Inspo memes. So these are cool. You have a lot of, um, again, as you try to struggle with content that you want to post, um, just things that talk about travel and travel agents. Um, you can post all of these things. This is free shareable content. I love this. Your vacation is calling. I did post this, <laughs> posted a couple here, but you can save and you can post them as well. And then the memes, the funny ones, right? So uh, these are memes that they've already had created for you that you can use, okay? There are 10, but they didn't use the travel advisor. She has a headache. <laughs> um, but they're funny little memes, as we always see, waiting for the work day to end, the day before you leave for vacation. <laughs> um, but again, all these things are in VAX just to give you some content to keep uh, your page interesting. And again, these are all in VAX. And you see, it says right here, copy this image, right? So you can um, share all of the content there. Um, let me also, I spoke about the Travel Cafe. I kind of showed you 
um, what that looks like and where you can access that information. Let me go to my back office and go to the Travel Cafe so that I can show you in person. Travel Cafe. All right, Media Library. It's right here. Um, it's like the fourth from the last if you click on library and the travel cafe. You'll see um, business cards requirements. Let's not miss that. I, I did speak about business cards. Make sure that um, when you do get ready to purchase your business cards and you can purchase them for wherever you want. Um, Vista print is one of my favorites, but you can get your cards, even if you know and some, someone that personally makes business cards, just make sure that you follow the requirements listed here as far as your business name, the Archer logo, the registration information. Um, Evolution Travel logo is optional, but it tells you everything. They give you sample cards and then the logos that you'll need, you'll be able to download and find right here. Excuse me. Um, again, the customizable marketing and the free marketing is also listed here. Um, there's some personal um, things that if you like that you can purchase, but they also have some free marketing as well. And also, I highly encourage you to go to the suppliers websites, just like I went to Vax, there's a lot of suppliers that have marketing material. That includes the cruise lines as well. They have free, free, free marketing material. Here are some free marketing videos. Um, these are it, so some of the videos, the ones that you pay for, they'll personally have your like your name and your um, email address and phone number. But if not those, these are free. Just at the end, it'll say contact me or contact your travel agent, but they are free and they're downloadable as well. So you can check those out. Um, again, all of the suppliers pretty much have um, free marketing material. Um, Virgin Voyages, one of my other, they have videos too as well um, that you can actually use to advertise. But um, many, majority of them, they do have flyers that you can download and they're customizable where you can add your business name, your name, and um, of course, your contact information so that you can market your business. So with that being said, I hope that was helpful. Um, I'm going to pass it back to Ron so that um, if we have any questions or anything that I've missed that you could let me know and... Um, we can continue to um, close this out if we, you know, after we make sure that any questions need to be answered. All right. Thank you very much, T. All right. I had to step out for a minute. So did you answer any questions already in there as you went along? I don't see any Go questions. Um, ladies and gentlemen, if you have any questions, if you want to type them in the chat box, let me see. Does having two businesses also count as requiring <laughs> two people as well uh i'm gonna say no what are your social media pages like youtube um i do have um social media business pages with um facebook youtube and instagram i'm working on building my youtube at this point um but you can find me at miss t travels on Facebook and Instagram. It's just M S T E E travels. And on my Facebook page, I list links for everything that I have um, websites on. What niches what do niche you use? Oh, what when do I specialize in? Yeah, I, I personally, um, I like I said, it's easy to find things that you want to specialize in if you focus on things that you love. I love the Caribbean. So that's me personally. I specialize in Jamaica, uh, the Dominican Republic, um, Aruba, 
the destination weddings there. So those are some of the places that I specialize in. But again, even if not having the specialty or the certifications, I make sure that I do my due diligence whenever someone wants to book any place that I've not been before. All right. Richard says he heard that they will require a passport for national travel as well soon. I haven't heard nothing on that one. I definitely will look into it. Um, you know, you may be not, you mean domestic travel right here that will be having required passports? Is that what you're speaking of? Because no, that's not the case. We, no, not passports. We will have, um, what's the gold star, Ron? <laughs> oh, we. <laughs> um, um, what's that star called? Real ID, thank Re you. Susan. Real ID, real ID. Thank you, Susan. That is it. So that will be required for travel. And they pushed that deadline out again and again. It's for 2025, I believe May of 2025. So you won't need a passport, but you will need a real ID. And um, what that'll do on your license or your uh, government issued ID, it's a gold star that they put on it because I already had it before. But again, they kept pushing it out. Oh, look at all my wonderful travel agents. They all knew. Real ID, real ID. Thank you. Y'all on top of it. I had a little brain freeze. <laughs> um, yeah, Erica you says, if, yeah, you're right, Erica. If you don't have real ID, you can't use the passport. But if you don't, you know, you, you definitely will have to have real ID to, to travel domestically by by airplane, let's just say that. T, can you do a training on setting up websites? <laughs> um, <laughs> well, so um, I can, but I'm not, let's just say that that's not my own, just one area expertise. You can find out how to set up travel websites on GoDaddy. Um, you know, things that, that I do, some of the things that I do, they do cost extra out of your pocket, right? And so I don't, I, I don't ever want anyone to be discouraged about having to pay money when they're first starting. I've been, been able to do this as I've been in the business for almost a decade now. And that's because I book consistently and I have a lot of clientele. So I don't mind paying for these things because for, for one, as an agent, they're a tax deduction. Um, but because again, I book a lot of travel. Um, there are some um, different uh, CRMs like Travel Joy, like Travelify. I use Travel Joy. You can set up websites in as well. But you do, again, you have your own customizable website with Evolution Travel. And you can feature trips right there on that page and you can promote that page. You're able to um, list up to two specials on your Evolution page. So without even having to go outside of spending additional money, we already have a host agency that has um, a web page that we can promote. And like I said, be able to add your own specials. When using airline affiliate links, does that count as a normal commission since flights are non-commissionable? Airline affiliate links? Not, I don't have an airline affiliate link. I have affiliate links with only people that pay commission. So not sure about that. Um, but as you stated, just booking airfare only is not commissionable. There are a few places that if you book international trips, you can get commission from. Um, I know Vacation Express is one of them. Um, otherwise, if you're just booking domestic trips and you're wanting to get commission with them, you would have to charge a fee up front, which is what I do. I have people that just say, I don't want to even deal with the computer. Can you just book my trip to Florida? Even they don't even care. They'll just pay, um, you know, a fee to be able to book it. But that's something you have to do on, on your own. And that will be direct to you. All right. The next one you've already answered, what do you consider your niche? Please, that's it. Anyone else have any other questions? Do you have a way to customize the Evo Travel website URL URL to our preferred wording? So everyone has the ability to add a handle name on their web page. So um if you didn't do that when you first set up your web page, you can still do that. If you go through your back office to your travel site, 
there's the domain domain name. So it's evotravelagent.com, but backslash is whatever you want to customize it as. So for me, it's, you know, Miss T Travels or evotravelagent.com backslash traveling star. You're able to customize that handle name. However, um, if you really want to get into it even more to make it customizable, you can um, B I is B I T Y L. Um, you can they let you do up to three free links, and what you can do with that is you can point your um, you can make a shortened URL and you can point it to your website. I'll type that in the chat box for y'all. So you can do that if you want, and that's totally free. Like I said, I think they let you get up to three. And what they do, again, is they allow you to make a shortened web, uh, a link, and you can point that to your evolution page. Yep. So Richard said, instead of having the evolution travel in there, you have something like Misty Travels. You can't, you can well, like I said, it's twofold. So if you're going to use the custom, if you're using the one that we already have, it's evotravelagent.com. It's going to always start like that. However, if you want to create a domain name, you can go use B-I-T-L-Y. You can also go to godaddy.com. I have um, other websites that I used to go daddy. They do charge. Um, but as long as no one else has used that link, it may even be like $2 for the whole year, but you can use a domain name for them and make it whatever you want and point it to that website if that's what you want to do. You're welcome. Thanks, Miss T. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, anyone else have any other questions? Go on once. Go on twice. All right, I guess that's about it. All right, at this time, I want you all to go ahead and make sure you thank Miss T for her training today. Clap it up for T. As always, thank you very much, and it was awesome training. I um, learned a little bit myself there today. Well, with that being said, what we're going to do is now get ready to close out. Let you guys go ahead and finish this Saturday evening. Uh, on behalf of our one star platinum, Miss Nina Jackson Mitchell, and the rest of the elite group leadership team, we thank you for joining us and have a good evening, everyone. Thanks, everyone.